This video will explain how to set up your TSP 103 WLAN printer using access point mode and how to install the driver on Windows. Let's start by turning on the printer while holding the feed button simultaneously. The self-test will print. You're going to need the self-test in just a bit. Take note of the network info on the second page. Next, open the Wi-Fi settings on your computer by clicking the network or Wi-Fi symbol in the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. You're going to need to disconnect from your current Wi-Fi network just for a bit and connect to the TSP-103 printer. The printer's name will be different than what you see here in the video. It can be found on the network page of the self-test next to SSID if you need it. Once connected to the printer, open any web browser and in the address line type 192.168.10.1 and hit enter. This is the IP address for your printer. If the printer's firmware is 1.5 or lower, you're going to need to log in with this IP address, 169.254.1.1. To check your firmware, you can power on the printer while holding the feed button as we did before and let go when it starts to print. The firmware is at the top of the first page that prints. Next, select login and type root for the username and public for the password and then click OK. You will be prompted to change the password but don't worry about that right now just click cancel. Next select WLAN settings and then select infrastructure. If infrastructure is not an option just continue on with the setup. Go ahead and type in the SSID, security and security key of the Wi-Fi network you're trying to connect to. If you don't know this information you're going to need to log into your router or contact the router manufacturer. Once finished, click Submit. Finally, click Save and Execute. A page will print. Wait for the receipt to cut and there should be an IP address at the bottom. It's best to give the printer a static IP address so the IP address doesn't change. If left on DHCP, the printer may get a different IP address from time to time and that'll make it unable to communicate with the driver. Please check with your network administrator to see if a specific static IP address is required. Next, open any web browser again and in the address line type the IP address the printer just printed out and hit enter. Log in with the same information that was used earlier, which was root and public. Click IP perimeters and then static. Type the same IP address, subnet mask, and default gateway that printed out. Next, reconnect back to your own Wi-Fi network. Now let's download the driver from the Star Micronics Global Support site. For the product type, select TSP100 Future Print. Once you've done that, then save Future Print version 7.3 Lite to your PC. Once downloaded, open the driver folder and extract the files. Or you can right click on the folder and extract the files that way. To do this, simply click 
the extract button. Once the extracted folder is open, right click the autorun.exe file and run as an administrator. This is very important that you run it as the administrator. Cancel the install of the direct play if you get a prompt for it. Select installation and accept. Continue to click next and then you have the option to install the driver. The Star Cloud Services website will then open. Here you can register your business to be able to provide customer digital receipts and access other customer engagement and device management tools for your business. We highly recommend you do this as it's an extremely big value add that we provide at no cost. Once the installation finishes, select Finish. Next, select the Windows button and search for the LAN and Bluetooth setup tool. Another option is to select Star Micronics and LAN and Bluetooth setup tool. Once the setup tool loads, it will search the network for the printer. If a Windows firewall message appears, click Allow Access. Once it finds the printer, select Print Queue. Then check the Print Test Page box and then Apply. Click No for the TSP100 configuration utility. The driver will then install and print a Windows test page. Congratulations! Your TSP103 WLAN printer is now set up to print through Windows. For additional information or support, please visit the website in the description below or contact our technical support team. Contact information is also located in the description below.